welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to show you a quick little top knot hair tutorial using short hair. I love wearing top knots, especially in the summertime. It's just a nicer way of wearing a messy bun. It's like just as fast as doing a messy bun, but it looks more elegant. It's You can wear it to work a little bit more easier or out on a date, whatever. So I'm gonna show you how to do this hair tutorial and if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting this hairstyle with my hair nice and smoothed out and I did put oil in my hair before filming because I did have to kind of straighten my hair a little bit because I air dried it last night, but anyway. So this is going to be super, super simple for you to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Davines moisturizing fluid and this is meant for straight hair or controlled looks. And what we're doing is a very smooth controlled look. So that's why I'm gonna use this. So I'm just taking a little size on my finger like that. And I'm going to basically just kind of rub it through my hair like this because we want this to be really sleek and smooth and we want to get it as smooth as possible. Now I'm going to take a comb and I'm just gonna start pulling the hair back like you would for any ponytail or bun, but we're gonna make sure that this is really nice and smoothed out, there's no lumps or anything. And we're basically just gonna have to like keep smoothing as we go. It's so important to make sure that your hair is nicely brushed or combed out beforehand because it's gonna make this so much easier and so much more polished. Now if you're like me and you have short hair, you might have some fallout or some flyaways happening. Don't worry about that, we will get to that part. But for now, now that everything feels like as smooth as we can get it, I'm taking a pony and I'm just taking a tiny section of bun. I'm not pulling it all the way through, but I am going to try to wrap the ponytail around the bun as tightly as I can. Now you can see we just have a little bun here. Um, at this point, I am going to kind of touch up some flyaways. So again, I might take more of that moisturizing fluid from Davines and just kind of run it through my hair. You don't have to use this product, of course, but this is what I have. There's tons of different drugstore versions of stuff like this. So whatever you have around the house that is similar product, whether it be a styling gel, or something along those lines will work for you. This is just what I happen to have. So again, I just kind of took that gel and straightened all my flyaways. So at this point, you can see that there is a bunch of hair sticking out from that ponytail. What you're going to do is take those ends and you're going to wrap it around the base just like so. And then you're going to take some bobby pins and pin, pin that into place. And again, because we have short hair, there's gonna be a lot of little flyaways and we're going to have to kind of pin this in multiple spots, but that's just how it's gonna to have to work with the short hair. Okay, so now I have all of those pieces pinned in place there. And as you can see, I'm getting some fallout pieces. So I am going to take those pieces and just pin them up in the back. The unfortunate part of having short hair is you're probably going to have to have bobby pins in the back of your head, but you can take them and sort of hide them. Not pinning them horizontally, but pinning them up vertically should help hide them just a little bit in the back. So you can kind of see what that looks like so far. And what I like to do is sometimes take the edges and bring them down to the back and then pin them back in to make it even cleaner looking. So again, I'm taking some bobby pins and pinning that down in place into the bun. So now that we have that bun taken care of, this is when we wanna kind of clean it up because even though it looks somewhat cute now, it'll look so much better when we kind of take care of all those flyaways to make it look really chic and elegant. So I'm gonna grab some hairspray. This is actually a very, an extreme hold hairspray. This is the Davines Strong Hairspray for long lasting firm hold. And that's exactly what I want, especially when I have short hair and I get all these flyaways. I definitely need something with some good strength. But again, you don't have to use these products. These are just what I happen to have around my house. And that's what I'm using. So I'm just gonna kind of spray all those flyaways. You can either take a fine tooth comb or you can take a toothbrush. I don't have extra toothbrushes around my house for hair, so we're just gonna do this. 
and yeah i'm just kind of spraying and kind of combing back all those little baby hairs you just want to keep those nice and in place and I'm not using a very heavy hand. I'm using a really light hand in order to comb these. I think if you do too much, then you can end up pulling the hair away too much. And then of course you're going to want to spray your bun nice in place. Any of those flyaway hairs. And try to get all those little fallout pieces to stay up there with that hairspray. All right, guys, so that's it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was simple enough for you to understand. Make sure if you like to watch hair tutorials to give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.